Augustin of Hippo, De Praedestinatione Sanctorum, Episode 15. Nexe ipsum misericordiam consecutum dixit, ut fidelior, sed ut fidelis esset, quies quiebat non se initium fidei suae priordrem de decideo, et retributum sibi ab illo eis augmentum, sed ab eo se factum fidelem, a quo et apostolus factus est. As he continues, Augustine says, nor that he himself obtained grace, did he say, Dixit. Now the subject of Dixit is Paulus, because you see Augustine is still exegeting Philippians 1.29. So nor did Paul say that he himself, say ipsum, obtained grace, obtained mercy, excuse me, this is consecutum esse. He did not say that he obtained mercy to be more faithful, ut fidelior esset, but simply to be faithful. And so we have here the comparative fidelior in the masculine singular nominative, and then we have the positive degree fidelis in the same gender number case, subjects of esset, since Paul is the subject of both. Because he knew, quis quiebat, that he had not given to God, de deo, he had not given to God the initium, the beginning of his own faith. Now, say here is modified by priordrem, because he, Paul, knew that he, Paul, was not the one as the initiator, giving to God the initium of his own faith. We'll come back in a second and untangle a little bit of the syntax, but let's go on through to the end. And what else did he know? What else did he know? And he knew that the augmentum retributum sibi ab illo eis. In other words, he also knew that the increase, augmentum, was not retributum, was not paid back to him, that is Paul, by the Lord, ab illo. But instead, that's the said, he knew that he, say, had been made faithful by him, that is by Christ, by whom, so it's by that one, ab eo, by whom he had also been made an apostle, apostolus factus est. We have in this sentence, which is somewhat complicated syntactically, very nicely balanced, we have several instances of oratio obliqua, that is, indirect statement. The first one is introduced by Dixit right here. And he did not say that he, there's the accusative subject of the implicit esse, that is, consecutum esse, he did not say that he obtained mercy, misericordiam, to be faithful, ut fideli, or to be more faithful, excuse me, but that he be faithful. So the ut here is, I'm taking it as a purpose clause. It could be a result clause, but I think it's a purpose clause. Because he knew, skigebat. Now, the rest of the sentence is dependent on the oratio obliqua introduced by skiebat. It's a verb of knowing, obviously. And it's going to be third singular, imperfect, indicative, and active. Because he knew that he, say was not prior in having given to God the beginning of his own faith. And what else did he knew? He knew that the increase augmentum had not been given retributum sibi as payback to him by Christ, ab illo, by the Lord, or God, deo. But, in fact, that by that one, ab eo, and then we have this entire clause, that is the aquo through est, is the modifier of eo. So, by that one, he had been made faithful, se factum fidelem, and so we have an essa there implicit as well, that is the same one by whom he had been made an apostle also. If you enjoyed that little video lesson, please go ahead and subscribe for us, click the bell and so forth, check out the other videos on this page, leave a comment, and please be sure to check out our Patreon page as well. Bye.